How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I unlocked my very first Team Affinity Diamond in MLB The Show 24 so let's go ahead and get right into it. And basically what I did to accomplish this was put in some of those spring breakout cards and then simply put a bunch of Rangers and Mariners cards in there to get the parallel XP. As I played through the conquest I was able to do some of the missions. Uh, to get some XP towards the Team Affinity program. Now it takes about 60,000 XP in order to get to this first pack. And they give you quite a few uh, packs to go along the way in the Conquest. They give you a headliner pack. They give you some pretty good overall rewards. And I'm kind of grinding out, trying out the game. Uh, trying to get multiple things done at the same time. We get some Ball and as a Habit packs in there as well. With some increased chances to get some Diamond cards. As well as uh, guaranteed gold. There we get a diamond out of a silver pack. That's my very first diamond pulled this year. And it's out of a silver pack. Kind of interesting. Uh, I didn't really have any good pack luck in my pre-order rewards yesterday. So with that being said, we get Bryce Harper. That's a pretty good solid 86 overall. Purple background. So you know it's going to be a lower, lower tier diamond. Anything above 90 is going to be the blue background. Which is what we're looking for. Um, but we are able to get a couple of these silver and bronze packs as well. These cards are, you know, decently valuable right now. Some of these guys are going to be on the squad in terms of relievers. Uh, there we get another diamond. There we go. Another diamond. I'll take another purple background. Mid-80s. Mid-80s right here. Blake Snell, 85. Free agent card. If he gets added to a team, his price might go up depending on the collection. He also could stay right where it's at. At around 9,000, there we get a chase pack. These packs are much better, much better packs right here, better than my pre-order rewards. I've always had pretty good luck pulling these free packs from Team Affinities. I pulled a bunch of diamonds a couple years ago, probably like nine or ten diamonds early on in the game cycle when that was, uh, you could, you know, repeat showdown over and over again pretty quickly. You can still do that this year. I just don't know if it's, uh, you know, as, uh, as easy with skipping to the end and things like that have not tried that out yet just wanted to get into conquest you we do still have those showdown vouchers um, but here we're going to go ahead and pull uh this headliners pack we can have a chance to get mickey mantle there we get another diamond third diamond and there's the blue background come on mike trout mike trout it is mickey mantle okay mickey mantle out of the headliner pack i bought this card for about thirty-three thousand. that's kind of what he's selling for uh, right now so I'm gonna go ahead and sell that card I'll give you guys a team update here in a minute but we get the very first team affinity pack thought about taking Ricky Henderson thought about taking Jose Leclerc but I'm gonna go ahead and take the best overall one in Carlos Correa shortstop with a really solid swing this year he's got 125 contact versus left mid 70s power against both sides a gold defense solid shortstop to start the season and uh, this is going to be a season one player. So not really sure what the lifespan for these cards are going to be. Uh, but nonetheless, we got him on the team right now. Very first team affinity is completed. I started the game out with the pre-order rewards that they gave me. I put $100 into the game. Last night for a couple of hours, I was buying and selling some of the pre-order rewards. I bought a bunch of the hyper cards. I bought a bunch of the barrier breakers. And I was able to kind of flip them and uh, make back the same amount of stubs that I started with. I'm at about 160,000 right now. If you count the diamond pulls, then maybe I was able to get up to about 230, 240,000 stubs um, with all these players as well, right? I was able to buy some of those guys for 9,000 right when the game came out. So that was really nice. But that's gonna do it for this video. This is my current squad, 88 overall with 163,000 stubs. I plan on Waiting a little bit. There's going to be more cards released. Until next time, peace out.